to put our travel dreams on hold, but summer 2021 looks like it will be a little more exciting. Cindy Miner from Small World Big Fun Travel Agency is here to uh, tell us what we need to know about traveling this summer. Thanks so much for joining us this morning, Cindy. Sure, thank you so much for having me. Yes. It's great to be here. So, Cindy, what trends are you seeing and where are people going right now? Um, trends are have practically changed overnight in the past couple of weeks. The, the big thing to know right now about travel this summer is you need to book now. If you want to go someplace, whether it is domestic travel or international travel, time is of the essence. Um, for sure. Absolutely. Good to know. I know I had a friend who uh, was planning to go to Europe last year. She clearly had to cancel that. So what, what about international travel? Is traveling to Europe, is that an option now? Um, not at this particular moment, but we have got all of our fingers crossed. The uh, European Union is talking about admitting um, American travelers to, the, to, to Europe. Just hopefully we'll have that news in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned. Right. But if Europe, if Europe's on your, on your bucket list mm -hmm. or on your travel list, now's a good time to start kind of thinking and making some plans. But Mexico and the Caribbean are wide open if you, if you really are in the mood for an international destination. Okay, so what do travelers need to know as we continue to navigate through this pandemic? Um, the, like I said, the first thing, the most important thing is book early, mm -hmm. number one. Um, pent up demand is a real thing. And, mm -hmm. and there are, you know, we have a lot of travelers who are like, I'm ready to go, but we can't find the availability for their, for their preferred travel dates. So the earlier you start, the better off your chances are going to be. Mm -hmm. Number two, if you do feel like traveling internationally, you really need to put your hands on your passport. You've got to mm -hmm. have a passport. Um, that is at least six months from expiring. Um, you need to have a six month window from when you get home until you you yeah. plan to come to travel. Okay. Um, and the last thing is, yes, there are some uh, discounts out there, but those are gonna go really quick. Mm. So again, time is of the essence. Wow. So what are some misconceptions about people uh, using like a travel advisor or travel agent? Oh my gosh, the biggest one is that we cost more money and really our job is to save you. We want to ah. save you money because we know where the deals are. We want to save you time. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's got a lot going on, especially this time of year with kids graduating and those yeah. final, you know, programs, the end of school dance recitals. Work with a travel agent because we're going to save you all of that time and money. And most importantly, we're going to know what the requirements are if you do mm -hmm. want to travel in internationally that that's my job yeah you know, we stay on top of those things because it's that's a little bit of a it, it changes daily mm -hmm. that's so a good point we, we, we like to mm -hmm, we yeah. like to stay on top of that so where can we find you if people want to get in contact with you smallworldbigfun.com is our web address and we also have a facebook page so those are two easy ways for people small world big fun that's an easy name to remember. Yeah, it is. So <laughs> just look us up on Facebook. We'll be ready to help you when you're ready to go. Small world, big fun. Like it. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Cindy. Thanks, Ashley. All Great right. to see y'all. Everybody too. have a good day. Thanks. All right.